This is what the dual rig will look like. Everything you see here is second hand, give or take a few bits and pieces. I picked up a second 130 PDS scope, which is here. I picked up a second hand coma corrector. I then 3D printed a new spider for this particular telescope and also a mirror mask to go on this particular telescope as well. And then I needed to get a Los Mandy plate. I managed to get this one along with two brackets to mount the dual scope setup. So the idea is one will be on there and then this one will be mounted somewhere on there and I will be able to hold two 130 PDS scopes on one Los Mandy plate with these, which are very cool. So these were all second hand. It's taken me a while to find all of this stuff. And then this is from actually my 200 PDS, and this will replace the horrible plastic one, which we have just here. And luckily these just unscrew, and then the new one will just screw straight onto there. So that we don't have to use this one, which causes damage, because these ones have got a proper brass compression ring inside that you can see just there. And then this is proper flocking material. And I'm going to flock the inside of this scope and also my other 130 PDS. I'm going to go through the whole upgrade process on this scope and also on my other scope again, just to get the optical chains absolutely identical. But the first thing I need to do is take this scope apart and then I'm going to flock the tube. This is the dual telescope project. The whole point of this is to have two identical telescopes. I already have a 130 PDS, which I modified, and this is a second hand 130 PDS, exactly the same model, but slightly older. And um, in essence, what we're going to do is create a dual imaging rig because here in the UK, we have very little clear sky time. I thought I would try and create two identical telescopes that would double the effective imaging time when I get the opportunity to image. But of course that means picking up everything secondhand and doing it as cheaply as possible. Uh, the only thing I don't have so far are the cameras and I don't know what to do about that at the moment. So I thought what I'd do is just get all of this built and we try and set up the session in Nina. I do have two color cameras at the moment, which we could try it with, but they're not the same sensor size. And I don't really know pixel maths that well, pixel math that well. Uh, so anyway, we'll see, we'll see what we get to. But first things first, I'm going to take this apart and I'm going to flock this tube. Hello, it's me. Um, there we go, that is the tube. And it needs a bit of clean, but you can see it is completely painted black on the inside. And what I'm going to do now is flock the inside of this tube. It um, needs a wipe down, I think. So I'll give it a quick wipe down. The mirror is hazy. I think it's just muck. Looks like it's just muck. I hope it's just muck. But uh, yes, so the mirror's there, and there's the secondary as well. I'll have to paint the edges of these. Um, and as is the case with most Skywatcher mirrors, it is loose in its mirror cell. So I don't know if you can see that, it's actually loose. And if you shake it, it's loose, which means that these wobble around. So what I'm going to do is put some more cork 
on the inside which stops it moving but I don't want to pinch the optics so these must not be too tight and of course I will be fitting the mirror mask to mask these three mirror holding positions just here. There we go, fully flocked inside, as you can see. And um, it went on really well. I'm really pleased with how this has gone on. Um, I have left the ends about an inch or so. The tolerances are quite small. And of course, you don't want, when you put the primary mirror in, to be struggling with the primary mirror, because that's obviously something you don't want to damage. So that's the tube pretty much modified and um, it's been flocked. Here's the primary mirror and it's got a kind of haze on it. So I'm going to have to give this a bit of a clean. It's already looking better. I haven't done very much to that at all. That's just been rinsed in soapy water. And you can see how much better it already is. That's the secondary as well. I didn't need to clean that one particularly, but it's looking pretty good to me. To reassemble the primary mirror I've got some extra cork here which I'm going to stick on here to hopefully help support the mirror a bit better. So 
I'm just going to cut this into three, hopefully reasonably equal pods. There we go. And here is the primary mirror. Let's give it a quick clean. And these are the mirror clips. The only bits I need, these little rubber mirror clips. I just need the screws. I don't need the metal supports. Here is the primary mirror mask. So I've tried really hard with that to not pinch the optics. So as soon as it got tight, I backed it off. So that's loose. That's just got tight. So then I'm just going to back it off. That's loose. And it's just got tight, so I'm just backing it off. But until I do a star test, it's very difficult to, to be able to tell. But there we go. So that is the primary mirror back in its housing. I'm now going to reassemble the focuser. So I've painted the focusing tube. These are all the bits from the focuser. The first thing I want to do is change this. So I've now got the one with the brass compression ring fitted in there. And we've now got the focuser reattached as well. Time to assemble the spider, which has now dried from being painted. And these are just little 3D printed washers, which protect paint on the scope so I can just screw these in to the new spider. On 30 PDS modified with a new spider and an aperture mask on the primary mirror fully flocked and just about ready to test on the mount with its sister scope. This is what the dual rig will look like. Both scopes will essentially be identical. They'll both have focusers. They'll both have cameras attached. This one obviously hasn't got its camera or focuser attached at the moment. They've both got 3D printed spiders and this one has been flogged. This one has not been flogged yet, but I wanted to see what the dual rig would look like. It's sat on the dual mounting plate, which is here. But effectively, that is what the dual imaging rig is going to look like. It does look super.